guys, I'm back for another first impression and this is on Tarte's latest foundation called Rainforest of the Sea. It is a water-based foundation that contains an SPF of 15. I got this at Sephora last week for $39. They have 12 shades to choose from. So I picked up shade light medium honey which is right around the middle. On the website it says it's a lightweight full coverage hydrating foundation infused with Tarte's Rainforest of the Sea Complex and non-chemical SPF 15 sunscreen. It says here that it lasts for about 12 hours and it's supposed to conceal redness, dark spots, and even out the skin. Packaging is pretty. I love purple and gold. It's a glass container. I have to be very careful because I'm traveling right now. So I have to make sure that this is very secure in my suitcase. It has a dropper, which I didn't expect this. I personally am not fond of droppers because I just think it gets messy. So I'm going to do the right side of my face first. It blends in pretty well and it concealed the redness on my face. And it seems to be about medium coverage. I'm going to put a little bit more on my scar. Okay, that's better. So I'm going to finish up the rest of my face and I'll be right back. Okay, so it's been about 15 minutes since I applied the foundation. And I did apply a light setting powder around places that I was going to put bronzer because the product is pretty wet. It's kind of like sticky wet, like a light, light tackiness. I found that it was much easier to just apply with a beauty blender opposed to a brush because it got a little streaky with a brush. First impressions as of now, I am really liking it. I like that it's unscented. I like that it goes on smooth and that it's lightweight. So I'm going to wear this throughout the day. It is just about 12.30 in the afternoon. It is two o'clock and I'm really starting to notice dry patches on my face, especially on my nose. It looks like it's set into a powder. And then also on my chin. From a distance it looks good, but up close it's very noticeable. But other than that, everything's looking okay. So I'll check back at the end of the day. It is 10, 11 in the evening and I have pretty much been out all day and the weather has been off and on, raining and I am looking quite oily right now which I'm not too surprised because I naturally have oily combination skin especially around my cheeks where you see the light bouncing off and then of course my forehead and the foundation especially looks really crusty around my nose like it got worse. But other than the shininess, I think the foundation has held up pretty well in the sense that I do look brighter. My skin still looks smooth. On my chin, I don't see any foundation here at all. Maybe it was when I was wiping my mouth when I was eating. So pros, it is totally lightweight. It's buildable. I like that it's unscented. I think they have a pretty decent color selection. They have 12 shades. Oh, and it is flash friendly. Cons, I don't like how the product accentuates my dry spots, especially around my nose and then some parts around my face. It doesn't last for 12 hours like they claim. And if you do have oily skin, you're definitely gonna need a setting powder to touch up throughout the day. Overall, I don't think this foundation is for me. It doesn't suit my skin type very well. Anyway, if you have tried this, comment your thoughts below and also let me know what review you would like to see next here on It's Judy Time. Don't forget to check out my other channels, It's Judy's Life, where I vlog every single day with my family. And lastly, my mommy channel, It's Mommy's Life. I'll catch you guys later. Bye.